Let's also talk about the moves that has been made by the Speaker today in the Assembly as 15 BJP MLAs who have been suspended. Now the reason that is now coming across for the suspension was allegedly shouting slogans and the BJP MLAs have been suspended for alleged misconduct in the chamber of the Speaker as far as Pragya is with us right now. The reason that is now coming across of the suspension of 15 are BJP MLAs, Pragya. Uh, so the speaker has said that uh, the, the 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 shouting and all the slogan sloganering has uh, actually hurt the you know the stature of the chair and that is why they should be suspended and this is the reason that has been given by the speaker to suspend them now this has changed the number game uh, as you rightly pointed out 15 of them have been suspended but it is yet to be seen for how long they'll remain suspended and whether they will be reinstated whether they need to approach court or whether they need to approach governor or uh, where is uh, it that they will be going to get the reinstatement so if they are reinstated what is the strategy then but for now bjp is keeping a close watch on the congress camp they are uh, they have uh, you know their respective people in touch with the congress dissidents right. they would want to have numbers first and then they will take the another step but for now they are keeping a very close watch on the congress camp right now all right thank you very much for that update pragya let me straight away go across to sabesachu who's been joining us live he's been getting us all the live updates from shimla right from the raj bhavan uh, sabesachu we've seen a lot of movement and dramatic turn of events from the raj bhavan till the assembly today Well, absolutely. See, it's a lot of things are happening around. Uh, see, 15 of the BJP MLAs has been expelled uh, from the rest of the session. See, we are reporting live uh, from outside uh, the assembly here, uh, and uh, it's been chaotic since yesterday. Uh, see, uh, uh, around uh, the the clash between the speaker and the BJP MLAs had started uh, uh, yesterday itself. When after the session, the BJP MLAs had approached uh, the. Uh, uh, the speaker to speak to him uh, to ask on the divisional vote and at that particular time there was a tussle that broke out between the bjp mlas and the marshals over there now the bjp mlas have alleged that the marshals had even used force against the bjp mlas and during which one of the mla had sustained injury and uh, in the morning the mla had submitted the memorandum to the governor regarding this entire situation as uh, the governor in fact also had a word with the speaker surrounding the entire situation regarding this tussle that broke out yesterday also the bjp's demand for a divisional vote but clearly today as proceedings started at around uh, 11 am here the first shocker came when uh, vikramaditya singh resigned uh, from his uh, uh, cabinet post he cited many reasons and after that around 15 uh, bjp mlas has been suspended so clearly drama is going on at at this particular situation it will be interesting to see uh, whether uh, the congress would be able to uh, uh, pass uh, their uh, their financial bill without any hurdle or not which is yet to be seen but clearly the bjp mlas are still inside and the tussle is going on between the congress mlas and the bjp mlas right because uh, the assembly that has been adjourned till noon i believe uh, sabesachi because those are the developments that have been taking place but what are you hearing from the congress camp now uh, when are uh, dk shivkumar and bhubender singh hutta reaching as far as they having their talks with the respective 34 mlas i'm not counting the ones who had rebelled well absolutely see uh, the uh, the two observers would be uh, reaching uh, uh, shimla any time soon and the main focus would be to talk uh, with the 34 present mlas who are currently stationed at shimla now the congress high command has given two options uh, first uh, uh, they would uh, talk with the uh, 34 mlas out here they would decide on the future course of action they would make uh, promises regarding what could be better what are the problems which the mlas have been faced facing on ground and is there a need to change the cm face or not because this has been the major demand of the congress mlas the other option that the congress high command has is to uh, directly uh, uh, disqualify the six rebel mlas and uh, then at that particular time to see whether the congress still has uh, the majority with the 34 mlas including the speaker or not so there are two scenarios that can go uh, in favor of the congress party but bjp also uh, is slowly monitoring the entire situation and also back channel talk